A plan to get illegal drug users off Portland streets and into treatment might be taking a bit of a detour. Yeah, some Multnomah County commissioners calling out the chair for mm -hmm. closed-door meetings over implementing revised Measure 110, the new state law that recriminalizes possession of small amounts of street drugs. And they're worried drug users may not be required to get treatment rather than get arrested. Lisa Balick digging deeper into all of this. She is live tonight in downtown Portland. Lisa? Yeah, I spoke with two of the commissioners and they say they don't like what's being proposed. They also don't like what's going on behind closed doors when it comes to discussions about this. Letting those caught with drugs not be required to participate in a deflection program, meaning actually get treatment. Now, all they would have to do is just check in, let's say, at a drop off center, but not have to go through a screening or a treatment program. Other local counties, though, appear to have a more defined plan for those caught with drugs to get treatment. Now, County Chair Jessica Vega-Peterson has reportedly been meeting with the DA, the police chief, and others to come up with a way to implement House Bill 4002. The county would have to go ahead and put together a drop-off center to provide services, but county commissioners say they've been left in the dark. And the plan to date that hasn't been shared publicly or had a public discussion about does includes things like an endless revolving door and also not direct access to detox or treatment which seems very similar to what we had with ballot measure 110 before it was reformed Now, the commissioners I talk with want community input as well in a plan and say they would have to be part of a vote on funding a drop-off center. I reached out to the chair's office today but did not hear back. It is a state holiday. Now, September 1st, again, is when counties are expected to have their deflection programs in place to help people get treatment rather than jail time. Now, I did check and find out there is a county commission meeting tomorrow. That's where we'll be, hoping to get some more answers from the county chair. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin6 News. Yeah, interesting. A lot of people were excited about the revisions to right. this. Hoping for some changes. Yeah, now to hear this is happening. We'll see. All we'll right, thanks, see. Lisa.